The images of a series are like interpretations of a situation at the very same moment. When they are installed as a series on the wall, they refer to one another. These references then make it possible to read these interpretations as merely the result of the photographer's intentions and his predilections and abilities. So the, the uncertainty of this moment is in the show, it's not the result or the outcome for the viewer. Uh, it's the tool how to bring the viewer to the new perspectives. So once you are unsure with what you are usually expecting to see on the photographs, once you are unsure, then you start thinking, okay, it can work other way, or there is another facet, there is another approach to the same image, or to the same situation, or to the same still life. So this uncertainty is leading you to understand more, or to understand that your usual point of view is limited. The exposure series, or a cycle, it's really interesting in that way that uh, Barbara is working for 14 years with the same method. And the first exposure that was the easiest way to use myself and also I could control it the best, I thought. After that I, I thought I have to make a decision. I, I didn't want it to uh, become self-portraiture, so I immediately decided to look for models and I actually found models then that I'm now still using. So I, I have been working with them over like 14 years or 13 years. And I used always the same models because I, I look at them like they are some kind of um, parameter in my work. Like, like also I, I use very often a certain locations or I, I use like certain backdrops again like the Alps or a certain street in New York and these things that I'm using again and again are like building blocks in my work and I combine them differently and then uh, see what, what comes, comes out of that new combination. Uh, but uh, several moments I like it, and I perhaps don't understand it completely. Why is it? But I like the moment that in the first room you find the first exposure. And the issue of the work is for me very intimate. And the last part is one of the last series, which is uh, taken even in the studio, but also in the street. And there is many people, there are many uh, things happen like Somebody is picking up the newspaper from the street and some car is uh, passing around and there is some lady with the bicycle and so on. So there is many things, it's very multifaceted event and it's presented, it's installed in very intimate box that you are there alone and it's prepared for one viewer, it's prepared for only for you. And you have kind of intimate relation or experience with uh, pictures which represent some open environment, not the intimate one. And uh, I don't understand exactly uh, the, the relation, but I like it. I like this, these contrasts. Yeah, the, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big contrast. It's also quite uh, time-wise, pretty far. Like the one is from 2000, the other one is from 2012. And, and uh, you see how it opened up. I mean, it's the, uh, it was this one person that was looked at from the different points of views and in that white cube. There's what you just said, for a street, it was, it's outside and inside. Um, there's focus on several things, not on one person. There's even a focus on a hole in a sock or um, a, an apple core. I, I like that um, contrast very much, the beginning of the show and then at the end of the show. The, a really important moment in Barbara's close-ups in the portraits 
uh, is a kind of alienation. It's kind of block to create a relation between the viewer and the models because uh, then she mu multiply the images of the portrayed persons. She uh, somehow multiplying the possibility to communicate with the model on the photo. And paradoxically, this is a block for, for communication. And this is the moment uh, which also gave the name, the title to the show, the, the uncertainty, that uh, you are watching a portrait of somebody and after a while you become familiar with him. But uh, if you are watching uh, his uh, double portrait or triple portrait uh, and the eyes are missing your eyes and you know or you are told that it's uh, different pictures are taken in at the same moment, you st stop trust to the person on, on the photograph. So that's a, a really uh, irritating moment. And uh, this, this, this irritating moment is, a, is one of the leading why, why I was fascinated. I, I felt in, in love with this work.